Hello everyone. After uh, two days struggling, and uh, I found a solution which is to make uh, our website SSL certificate in a domain bind really uh, good. Is in very good shape. For example, if a user come, you want to give the user a domain. If they, they would, usually they will do something, right? They would do your domain.com. Boom! You will go to the SSL certificate. You know, uh, enable the you know the website. This is what they want to do. Right, they're not gonna do www or they're not gonna do like http uh, colon slash slash. Right, they're not gonna do this, so they're gonna do the domain.com. And uh, what you wish is go to you know, point it to your certificate enabled, uh, you know, the website for them to visit. Okay, this is the whole concept, and I want to show you how to what is the easiest way to bind the three things together. Okay, what I use is uh, the uh, React to, to uh, you know, the program map. And then I put it into a host it into the Heroku site, uh, Ho Ho you know, Heroku Cloud, and then uh, register domain through the godaddy.com, and then I purchase the uh, ACM uh, SSL certificate from Heroku as well. And I bind all of this together. This is a little bit tricky, so let's get started. So, uh, basically, let me first thing to first to show you what, what, what is app is it? Uh, what does app look like? So this is basically this is my app. It has been done and uh, crunch here, which is, which is very nicely. And uh, here's Heroku host script. So you should go through it. And uh, once this is done, so uh, basically the final finalists you will be do some uh, some uh, uh, you know the the setup like uh, one is like get uh, 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 add dot right, which is this will be. Uh, Push this uh, application to the uh, hook, and then, then you do the commit m, right? And then it's good stuff. So you pu push that, that commit to that, and then finally you do get push uh, Heroku uh, master. So from doing this, after that, right, you will render it and then push everything to the Heroku, and uh, you're ready. So your stuff will host on Heroku now. So what the next does is uh, you go to the Heroku page. So before doing that, let me show you what a deploy a commanders look like. So this is really, oh uh, yeah, forget it, you need to log in first, Heroku login. And then if you first time commit, you need to, uh, uh, the uh, let me see. Yeah, and you need to do something, you know, like a Heroku git clone and do this and then cd into that. Finally, you do three three command, as I mentioned to you. Git add, git the command, get the push. Okay, then you flip to the uh, settings page. Instead of the settings page, there's something you need to do is like uh, you need to give a um, tell the look who your domain is. So this is your domain, you just add the domain through here. Okay, in the meantime, you just configure your so, so, sorry, you let me see, you add your uh, certificate right here. There's a two choices for you one is automatic certificate management, which is ACM, as I mentioned. You know, another option will be the manual certificate as well. So you want to do that. And then, the, so I, I picked this one, a little bit easier. So that, that's just, uh, okay, so that, right? Certificate is done. And, and then, uh, so domain is done. You just edit domain. It will automatically, it will bind these two together for you. And finally, it will meet up like this DNS target. So you're going to use this target right here. Okay. And then you just, uh, uh, you know, give it to GoDaddy to host it. So go to the GoDaddy site. Under the domain DNS management, you will see expenses.com, which is domain name, right? You have a whole record of that. And uh, here's a trick, you know. Do You don't even have to touch A records, the other C name, MX, MX, all the way down there. This is only things you worry about, which is you from here, you just add your own C name. Pick a type of C name, right? And the host will be uh, your your www and pointing to the uh, you know the the the, the UI will give it a DNS target from uh, from the Heroku right here. Just 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 put it right here. Okay. As soon as it's submitted, save it. Your record will be created and here. Okay. Then from from here right now you will you realize that only www dot your domain will be uh, pointing back to the Heroku but now the domain will point uh, pointed to the Heroku right based on the C name you do it but you say hey can I do this through the GoDaddy yeah you you, you can't 
you know, certain simple reason is um, mm, Heroku that won't give you IP address. So in order to domain, in order to do the domain pointing to the Heroku your app, right? And uh, you need a record, but uh, GoDaddy say you need a record for that. And then, then the Heroku say, no, I'm not gonna give you IP address. So then what? Okay, here will be the solution. So the solution will be the forwarding, okay? And then domain, right? You can just edit your, your forwarding here, which is main, really, you just, uh, uh, your domain, you don't have to put it here, your domain, and then put HTTPS, forward it to HTTPS, which is your your domain name, right, right, right there. So it's just, you know, domain name.com. So by doing that way, you just actually tell him to go that he say, you know what, if there's any domain, Traffic is coming. I'm gonna refer into this guy. HTTPS colon slash slash and then www.domain.com. So which is which is this, right? And point to that. And from here and uh, go there and understand. As soon as see www. Right, he will point into your Heroku created. Uh, you know the DNS target. So this is a make it a whole circulations work. Okay, and uh, yeah, and uh, that's it. So spend, uh, you know, time and uh, try to share this with you guys. And finally, this is what you, what you, what you will get that. As I show you from the beginning, you type expense, you know, repo.com, your domain, hit enter. You will be there with certificate added as well. Very simple solution. Probably you can set up within a minute. There's something I wanted to share uh, share this with you uh, people, and uh, I you know, hope you have a good day and a happy coding. Bye for now.